So the roads out there, they are warmish. They are melting the snow pretty well. Fairly soon, in the not too distant future though, they are not gonna be able to do that and that's when the salt comes in. We're gonna see all those crews dropping pounds of salt on the road. So we wondered, why is salt so good at this job? Meteorologist Liam Healy wondered that as well. Found some answers from a local chemistry teacher. When you think of salt being put down on the roads, it's to melt the ice. And while salt can help keep the roads ice free, it isn't exactly melting the ice like most people think it is. It lowers the temperature at which the H2O, the water, can freeze at. So normally, H2O will freeze at zero degrees Celsius, which is 32 Fahrenheit. Um, but when you put road salt into the picture, it won't freeze until it's more like negative 17 degrees Celsius. Or closer to zero degrees Fahrenheit if there's enough salt put down. Why this happens, though, is just simple chemistry. And for Brianna Uckermark, that's her area of expertise. So H2O, when it's a solid, uh, it likes to stay close together. It actually forms kind of a hexagon shape. And when the road salt plays in, it kind of gets in the way of H2O getting close together. So it spreads out the H2O, which kind of makes it that liquid. Now, there are two very important things to remember that's happening when salt and ice interact. First off, there's a, always a very thin layer of liquid water present on every piece of ice. It's never completely frozen, and this helps to kickstart the process that eventually breaks down that ice with the salt. So once it comes in contact with the water, the salt begins to dissolve, and once it dissolves, those two separate pieces, the sodium and the chloride, they begin to pull the water molecules right on the surface, eventually breaking apart that ice crystal and then leading to that degradation of the ice. And of course, this isn't the only thing that's able to do this either. You could arguably use sugar, it gets a little sticky, but it, it could work. No matter what it is you end up using to keep things ice free this winter, just know science is on your side to keep you safe. Reporting in Rochester, Liam Healy, News 8. This is why I love News 8. Where else are you going to see something like that? Liam, thank you so much for that report.